Welcome to the presentation on adding and subtracting fractions. Let's get started. OK, let's start with what, what I hope uh, shouldn't confuse you too much. This should hopefully be a relatively easy question. If I were to ask you what 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is, let's think about how we, what that means. Let's say we had a pie. And it was divided into four pieces. So this is like saying this first one fourth right here, let me do it in a different color. This one fourth right here, let's say it's this one fourth of the pie, right? And we're going to add it to another one fourth of the pie. Let's make it this one. Oh, that's, I thought that was a different color. Let me change the color. Pink, this one fourth, this pink one fourth is this one fourth of the pie. So if I were to eat both one fourths, or one fourth, and then I eat another one fourth. How much have I eaten? Well, you could look from from just the picture. I have now eaten two out of the four pieces of the pie. So if I eat one fourth of a piece of pie, and then I eat or, or one fourth of a pie, and then I eat another one fourth of a pie, I will have eaten two fourths of the pie. And we know from the equivalent fractions module that this is the same thing as I've eaten one half of the pie, which makes sense. If I eat two out of four pieces of a pie, I've eaten one half of it. And if we look at it mathematically, what happened here? Well, the denominators, or the bottom numbers, the bottom uh, numbers in the fraction stayed the same. Because that's just the total number of pieces I have in this example. Well, I added the numerators, which makes sense. I had one, I had one out of the four pieces of pie, then I ate another one out of the four pieces of pie, so I ate two out of the four pieces of pie, which is one half. Let me do a couple of more examples. What is 2 fifths plus 1 fifth? Well, we do the same thing here. We first check to make sure the denominators are the same. We'll learn in a second what we do when the denominators are different. But if the denominators are the same, the denominator of the answer will be the same. And we just add the numerators. 2 fifths plus 1 fifth is just 2 plus 1 over 5, which is equal to 3 over 5. And it works the same way with subtraction. If I had 3 over 7 minus 2 over 7, that just equals 1 over 7. I just subtracted the 3, I just subtracted the 2 from the 3 to get 1, and I kept the denominator the same. Which makes sense. If I have 3 out of the 7 pieces of a pie, and I were to give away 2 out of the 7 pieces of a pie, I'd be left with 1 of the 7 pieces of a pie. So now let's tackle, I think it should be pretty straightforward when we have the same denominator. Remember, the denominator is just the bottom number in a fraction. The numerator is the top number. What happens when we have different denominators? Well, hopefully it won't be too difficult. Let's say I wanted to, I have 1 fourth plus 1 half. Well, let's go back to that original pie example. Let me draw that pie. OK, so this first 1 fourth right here, let's just color it in. That's this 1 fourth of the pie. And now, I'm going to eat another 1 half of the pie. So I'm going to eat a half of the pie. So this 1 half, half. I'm going to eat this whole half of the pie. So what does that equal? Well, there's a couple of ways we could think about it. First, we could just rewrite 1 half. 1 half of the pie. That's actually the same thing as 2 fourths, right? There's 1 fourth here, and then another fourth here. So 1 half is the same thing as 2 over 4. And we know that from the equivalent fractions module. So we know that 1 fourth plus 1 half, this is the same thing as saying 1 fourth plus 2 fourths, right? And all I did here is I changed the 1 fourth, the 1 half, to a 2 fourths by essentially multiplying the numerator and the denominator of this fraction by 2. And you can do that to any fraction. As long as you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number, you can do any you can multiply it by anything, and that makes sense because 1 half times 1 is equal to 1 half. You know that. Well, another way of writing 1 is 1 half 
times 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is the same thing as 1. And that equals 2 over 4. And the reason why I picked 2 is because I wanted to get the same denominator here. I hope I'm not completely confusing you. Well, let's just finish up this problem. So we have 1 fourth plus 2 fourths. And we, we know that we just add the numerators, 3, and the denominators to the same, 3 fourths. And if we look at the picture, true enough, we have eaten 3 fourths of this pie. Let's do another one. Let's do um, let's do one half plus one third. Well, once again, we want to get both denominators to be the same, but you can't just multiply one of them um, to get. There's nothing I can multiply three by to get two, or there's no at least integer I can multiply three by to get two, and there's no nothing I can multiply two by to get three. So I have to multiply both of them so they equal each other, and, and it turns out that. What we want for what we'll call the common denominator is, turns out to be the least common multiple of 2 and 3. Well, what's the least common multiple of 2 and 3? Well, that's, that's the smallest number that's a multiple of both 2 and 3. Well, the smallest number that's a multiple of both 2 and 3 is 6. So let's convert both of these fractions to something over 6. So 1 half is equal to what over 6? You should know this from the equivalent fractions module. Well, if I eat one half of a pizza with six pieces, I would have eaten three pieces, right? And that makes sense. One is half of two, three is half of six. Similarly, if I eat one third of a pizza with six pieces, that's the same thing as two over six. So one half plus one third is the same thing as three six plus two six. And notice, I didn't do anything crazy. All I did is I rewrote both of these fractions with different denominators. I, I essentially changed the number of pieces in the pie, if, I, if that helps at all. And now that we're at this point, then, then the problem becomes very easy. We just add the numerators. 3 plus 2 is 5. And we keep the denominators the same. 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6 equals 5 6. And Subtraction is the same thing. 1 half minus 1 third. Well, that's the same thing as 3, oops, that's a 3, 3 over 6 minus 2 over 6. Well, that equals 1 over 6. Let's do a bunch of more problems, and, and hopefully uh, you'll start to get it. And, and always remember, you can rewatch the, the presentation, or you can pause it and try to do the problems yourself, because I think sometimes I talk fast. Um, Let's let me let me let me throw you a curveball. What's one tenth minus one? Huh. Well, one doesn't even look like a fraction. Well, but but you can you can write it as a fraction. Well, that's the same thing as one tenth minus. How can we write one so it has the denominator ten? Right, right. That's the same thing as ten over ten. Right. Ten over ten is one. So one tenth minus ten over ten is the same thing as one minus ten. Remember we. We only subtract the numerators, and we keep the denominator 10. And that equals negative 9 over 10. 1 tenths minus 1 is equal to negative 9 over 10. Let's do another one. Let's do one more. I think that's all I have time for. Let's do minus 1 ninth minus 1 over 4. Well, the least common multiplier. Uh, least common multiple of 9 and 4 is 36. So that's equal to 36. So what's one no negative 1 ninth written as where we change the denominator from 9 to 36? Well, we multiply 9 times 4 to get 36. We have to multiply the numerator times 4 as well. So we have negative 1, so it becomes negative 4. And then minus over 36. Well, to go from 4 to 36, we have to multiply this fraction by 9, or we have to multiply the denominator by 9. So you also have to multiply the numerator by 9. 1 times 9 is 9. So this equals minus 4 minus 9 over 36, which equals minus 13 over 36. I think that's all I have time for right now, and I'll probably add a couple of more modules. But I think you might be ready uh, now to do the uh, adding and subtracting modules.